hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be letting my little sister do my hair now you guys you guys know i am not a wig person i do braids that's what i do that's what i love to do and i rarely ever let anyone touch my hair or just come close to my hair i do everything myself <laughs> so this is pretty big this is the first time she's doing my hair and she's so good she's so talented with wigs i'm like why not okay so that's what she's doing as you can see i already had my hair braided down and she's trying to fit the wig to make sure that the lace is even with the fronts and i kind of have a weird shaped head and a weird shaped hairline and not enough space for head space for like a frontal uh so it's very interesting to see how this look actually came together so what she's doing right now is putting some makeup onto the lace um and then she's going to be you know installing it on my head um so yeah you guys i tried so hard to be serious in this video but it just wasn't working um but just bear with me i promise you guys like i'm still being hella professional hi <laughs> um so yeah so right now she's just brushing out the hair and then she's gonna apply a thin layer of got to be glue just to kind of move my baby hairs backwards a little bit just kind of slick it and clean it up just a tiny bit So this is probably the most difficult process in this whole thing because I'm like claustrophobic and she had to like put the wig cap over my head and over my face because the way that she does it, she kind of wants to put a hole in the wig cap so that way your ear kind of peeks through. Like, can you see me hyperventilating? <laughs> I'm so dramatic and like I'm so sensitive in my ear so I was scared so don't worry she wasn't cutting me or anything she really wasn't I was just being so dramatic because I was so scared because she plays a lot so like trying to see her in like a professional setting like I just was scared so <laughs> But trust me, she's good. Uh, so she's just like cutting a little hole in my ear, not on my ear, in my, not in my ear, but like around my ear so that way she can pull my ear through the hole and have that wig cap stay on as nice and tight as possible without having to put the glue yet so it doesn't move pretty much. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. And then she's going to apply some... <laughs> <laughs> and I still apply some uh, freeze blast onto the hair and then blow dry it out just so it can kind of tack up and dry just a little bit. I think she did it on like, I don't know if it was cool or like warm setting. I don't remember. I don't remember, but I'm going to ask. <laughs> uh, so yeah, she's going to spray that and then she's going to blow dry the hair. She's trying to make sure she doesn't, um, it's pretty, like, she's not, like, how do I explain this? It's, it's safe. Um, you just got to be careful not to like get it too much on the hairline um, and Plus I have like a very small forehead space. So frontals and me is just like a whole chore um, So the hair that I use for this tutorial not this tutorial this video um, I actually purchased it myself. This video is not a sponsored video So I can give you guys my honest review and to be honest I feel like this hair was like a case of like what I ordered and like what I got Type thing. I'm gonna show you guys where I actually ordered this hair from. I actually saw somebody, another YouTuber, did a review on this hair, and it was so gorgeous. You guys, so amazing, so beautiful. The curls were popping, and then I placed my order. And tell me why this hair did not come out looking like the video I saw. Like the, the girl's hair, the curls were a little different, and then the curls that I got were a little looser. So I don't know, maybe I didn't do it right or I didn't style it well. I was supposed to do something or didn't do enough. I don't know, but I feel cheated. I want my money back. Okay? 
So anyways, she's cutting off the lace of the um, cap, being careful not to cut my hairline because she had already dried the um, the wig cap to my head so that way it doesn't move when she cuts it. Um, so she's cutting it according to my hairline so it's not just like round, so she's just kind of like customizing it. And you can kind of see how my hairline is shaped whenever she sprayed the freeze, bla freeze blast on my hair. Um, so she used some rubbing alcohol. Oh, by the way, she cleaned my forehead with alcohol before she installed this. And now she's applying makeup onto the wig cap so that way it kind of blends with my head and my face. Um, let's look over there. <laughs> so now that I look like a perfectly boiled egg, it's time to apply the wig. Yes, I'm excited. So. Um, this is like my first real like professional wig install so like I was so excited and so curious to see how it would look on me because like I always try to like do it myself and it just didn't come out well like it just always looks so like weird in the front with the gas to be glue like I feel like I'm still installing my wig using tutorials from 2011 and it just doesn't come out well and you know the technology has advanced you know as of lately so you know I'm like so amazed just watching this video right now uh, anyway so what she's trying to do right now is cut up some extra lace because she kind of wants it to fall perfectly behind my ears so that way it kind of looks more natural and it's not like an awkward flop um typically i leave the awkward flop you know when i do my own install myself because <laughs> i don't know how to cut lace to save my life i remember vividly drawing my hairline on a piece of paper before i cut my lace one time and it actually didn't work either so I don't know, I gave up. So I called Kayleen and she was able to hook the girl up. Um, so yeah, just making sure that the hair is perfectly aligned where you want it to be and then she flips the hair up and then she moves on to the next process. So for this install, we're gonna be using an, um, a thin layer of bold hold. So it's not gonna keep the hair in for like a long time, it's just kinda like temporarily and I don't like to wear wigs to bed. I don't know about you guys, I don't know how y'all girls do it sometimes. Like. I don't like to wear my wigs to bed because I like to sleep with my braids, my cornrows, without, you know, without a wig so I just feel more comfortable and I get headaches really easily so I just don't want anything on my head, around my head. I can't even keep a hairstyle for more than two weeks. That's even pushing it. Um, so it kind of gives you an idea of the type of person I am so that way you understand how I go about my hair installation process without judging me. of the lace just kind of want you guys to watch how she does it because this is one thing that literally drives me crazy like I always wonder like are you supposed to leave like a little bit of lace on the hairline so that way it looks like skin or do you cut really really close to the hair like how do you do it um but anyway so this is her process to so kind of watch so what she's doing right now is putting an elastic band around the hair and just securing it what the elastic band does is like literally like melts the lace to your scalp like pushes it down as far as possible because you know elastic band is like really rubbery so when you apply it onto your hairline as opposed to like a um what do you call that paper wrap thing that people normally use it has a stronger hold and it's able to really, really like lock your hair in place um so yeah so after that she takes that off and then she goes back and proceeds on to finish you know cutting the lace um so if you're new to this just take your time and make sure you cut it according to your hairline so don't do it so round i have a very awkward hairline so i don't know i don't know how she did it but she did a good job um so yeah she just kind of squiggled and wiggled and and you know just did what she does and came out really really nicely and then when she's done with that she goes ahead with like a little bit of bold hold or is it got to be i'm not sure she applies it on like the front part and use the rat tail comb like the ends of the brush to kind of like lay it down you know takes out the baby hair, uses a comb to push the hair back, and whew, it's a lot of work. Um, so she takes the hair and put it out of the way, 
takes that elastic band and it secures the hair once more this is really gonna melt that hair onto your scalp you guys like it's literally gonna glue it like chewing gum just glue it on your scalp bam nothing can move it it's like nothing you see how that's starting to look um so the one thing about this hair that i don't like is the lace i hate the lace that this wig comes with it doesn't it's not as thin as like the really good lace so um yeah it's not that thing so it's kind of like a struggle trying to melt it um and yeah so if if you if you like if you if you tint your lace it's easier to kind of blend it in or you can use makeup which is what we did so we're gonna be like oh we're gonna be applying makeup onto the lace really really quickly but first okay first she just takes that mousse uh, i think it's a non-alcoholic or alcoholic um mousse i don't know and then she applies it onto the hair and like squiggles and wiggles the baby hair where she wants it to be and then she slaps that hair down onto the hair again and just let it dry and let it sit for a minute and it should be good. So that's pretty much the gist of this hairstyle. And you can party anywhere, you can style it however you want, add water to make the curls pop or not pop, um, it's up to you. So yeah, if you guys think she did a really, really good job, go ahead and smash the like button. Let's try to encourage her. I'm trying to get her to like put herself out there more because she's so, 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 so freaking talented, like crazy. Um, so I'm trying to get her to like promote herself more and you know get out there. So if you have any encouraging words for Kayleen or any tips for her, go ahead and comment it in the comment section. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Have a merry day and God bless. Ooh, and go ahead and let's enjoy this um, conceited montage of myself, feeling myself. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.